Hello everyone. It's been like a month, a month and a half since I did a YouTube video. And I do apologize for like the 90 subscribers that I have. We may be small, but we are many in the community. Um, thank you if you did not unsubscribe for not doing that. Um, it's been rough. Uh, for those who do know and follow me on other social media or just saw the video, the last video I posted, my child, my fur baby of 15 years passed away. And um, I didn't take it very well. I deleted like all of social media for like two weeks, three weeks, and like I slowly came back. And I really wanted to do a YouTube video. I felt guilty not doing one, but at the same time, I wasn't really there. And it, would, it wouldn't have been fair to you if I did a video and I wasn't as into it or I, I wasn't a very like, screw it mindset. So I apologize for basically taking a hiatus. You probably don't care because like I'm not such a super big YouTuber. But um, uh, I'm back and I will try to start uploading at least one video a week and if I have more time, I will go from there. I'm obviously back in um, my university, so I will be working on my degree and I'm working on pursuing more music a little more seriously. Metal will always be my main thing, depressive suicidal black metal. I love that genre. But I'm also going to be working on other non-metal styles and see what what happens. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's basically what I've been up to in the last month, losing weight, trying to feel better about myself, mourning a loss very close to my heart. And you know, I've, I've witnessed lots of other people that pass away, so it's not like my first, but it's a 15 year investment, so it's really hard. Um, I do miss her most of the time, but you know, we have to try to move on with our lives, I guess. So that's that. And uh, now to the point of the video, um, we are going to be re doing another album review because I really like doing those. And let me know if you like me doing these in the way I have them structured and stuff. You want me to change something, you want me to add more elements to it, I will. But uh, for today's video, the band that we're going to be covering is Thanti Backstaff with um, the album Void Masquerading as Matter. Um, it's black metal and as you will hear right about now. I mean, if you can hear it, I, I don't want to like put too much like noise. Well, that's a little snippet of the um, album, but uh, so we're gonna get into the album notes and all that wonderful good stuff. I will have a more up close view as the thumbnail, so you probably already saw that by now because you clicked on the video. But okay, so Void Masquerading as Matter by Fanti Faxath. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please correct me. You know I don't like butchering band names. It's a it's an important element of who they are as a group. But um, first and foremost, the date the band formed is unknown. My source of uh, facts when it comes to metal and all that is always Encyclopedia Metallum or um, Facebook or wherever I can get information on the band. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't find anything that tells me when they were formed. So I don't know about that. If you know, comment down below. They come from Canada. So what's up brothers over there north of me, Cali over here. Um, their exact genre is uh, black metal, of course. I did get the album through the Metalhead Box, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. Remember, Metalhead Box is a quick um, monthly, monthly subscription. They have different boxes and diff based on different genres that you choose, and they send you um, CDs, posters, signed posters, um, toys, and knickknacks. It's really cool. Check them out. I'll have a link down below. I love you, Metalhead Box. Thank you for all of the music you've been exposing me to. Shout out. And then um, back to the band. They are signed to Dark Descent Records. Shout out to them too. Pretty badass record company. Um, so far, there are three variants of this album. Uh, it's a CD, a 12-inch vinyl, and a digital copies. 
They can be bought at Dark Descent Records or at the band's band camp. Check both out. One of them might be more up to date than the other. Doesn't hurt to try. Um, this e album, which is technically an EP, is their second one, it's second EP, prior to their first full length, which was called Sacred White Noise, which I think I have a CD, so I might do a video on that one. Uh, this came out in November of last year, 2017. The lyrics for the band overall uh, revolve around depression, death, and misery. So we can obviously, obviously expect this to be revolving that. <laughs> um, there are four tracks in the album. Vocals are present apart from background noise and other ambient elements, which the last track basically is mostly ambient, like screams and stuff, which... I'm getting ahead of myself, but I loved it. Um, actually, we're moving on right on to that topic. My favorite song on the album would be the title track of the album, Boy Masquerading as Matter. And the reason why is because the ambient elements are very strong in this song. The screams and distorted cries at the end paint sort of like an image of like you're walking through an asylum. If you don't know what that is, check it out, Google it. But, um, yeah, so like when I was hearing this, it was like if I was walking through like a hallway of an asylum and all the patients were going completely mental. Like they were just screaming and like losing their fucking mind, basically. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so as far as like the album like review for like a score and this is just my opinion you completely you can completely disagree with me i am not like a diehard everything about metal so you know you don't have to credit me as a reliable source you know like metal sucks net or anyone else but my personal opinion um the album starts with good aggression and does a great job of delivering a variation of energy while still being completely insane like the first two songs start riff heavy drum heavy Kind of sounds, kind of reminds me of Silencer a little bit, but um, yeah, like I, it kind of reminds me of Silencer's um, Death Pierce Me album, so check that out, album out, it's really good. But that's kind of how the album, this EP starts for me. Um, it has haunting, eerie atmospheres, obviously, um, great builds of dissonant tones, again, obviously. It's very melancholic, so I thought that was very interesting. Um, I, I, I expected there to be more. Um, like of a droning effect. It wasn't really much of a droning, but it was more of like atmospheric, like screams, if that makes sense. Um, there is uh, vocals in the first couple songs with like sorrow and agony, like, you know, you gotta love black metal. Like that's, that's why it's so good. It's because like the, the vocals tend to not be super like fake or like digital or like auto-tuned and stuff it's just very like i'm gonna scream into this mic and if i cough blood or if i cough or something you're gonna hear it and fuck you you know and i love that so i love the vocal cover i love the vocals um as far as i to my ear the last song did not really have um that much vocals because it had a lot of like again um the dissonant tones which i thought was pretty cool and i'll give a glimpse of the last song in a little bit and then uh, well, there's your glimpse right now, actually. So, overall, um, it's great for doing work, like homework and stuff. It's, like, good for background um, noise. The, again, you could have, like, headbanging done to this album in the beginning, but closer to the end of the song, it's more just, like, mellow vibe. It's great for, like, smoking, too. I think you could smoke to this album and, like, mellow out. That's just my opinion on the matter. <laughs> uh, overall, my solid like score would be an 8.5 8 out of 10. Uh, the reason why is I would love to hear more in the EP, like four songs. I just feel like it wasn't enough. And um, the vocals, which were good and they were present for basically half of it. But I kind of wanted more from the vocalist or vocalist. I don't know how many there are in the band. But I do think that the album is great overall. And I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of Fancy Faxa's um, album um, discography. And if I do have Secret White Noise, and I'm going to do a review on that. And so now, just as promised, I will give you a quick glimpse of like the last couple like parts of the song. And let me know what you think. Again, I will have a full digital like in the video like section just for it. But 
Here's like a little glimpse of it. See, it's like this eerie like noise that I think is really cool. So, like I dig this, you know? Like reminds me of like Gregorian chants or like cathedral music, you know, super droney and like angelic and like eerie. I like this, so I thought it was cool. Anyway, so I will have more on that in the video editing process. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you watched all the way through, I love you. And um, I will see you in the next video. I will try to do another one today. If not, I will try to do one during the week or next week. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, you know, I know metal channels are on like everyone's cup of tea and especially you know probably mine because it's like super like underrated but i'd love to you know do different things for y'all and i will see you real soon